Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Man X4. I am Russo yeah. playing this game for you. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. On zero! Hi. On to the boss rush! He's be proven to be the longest and har longest level of the game. At least as far as at least as far as my my playthroughs have been concerned. Aha! So start out with perhaps the hardest boss. Hello, Dragoon. As I've mentioned before, Zero has no weakness for this guy, and this time we don't have the right armor. This will be a trick. <laughs> Yeah. So far so bad. why I typically need the right armor in order to beat him up. Okay, not the hard ones out of the way. <laughs> we can go about dealing with the rest of them. Since we've got, gotten up to full health, let's deal with a let's deal with another one in which we don't have a weakness for. Which of course will be the spider. We'll be coming back to pick up all to pick up the power ups ups every time if we can help it. Mostly as a matter of keeping our energy tank of uh, filling up our er energy tanks. On you. Health left to in to ensure we actually get a little bit more or into the energy into the energy tank. What do we have here? This one's the peacock. That's all right. I really should be saving the easier bosses for last. Too late now. I try taking him on without using his weakness, but well, even using the weaknesses for all these guys, this uh, this uh, video is going to be long enough as it is. <laughs> Bro, Zero gets a lot of cinematics in the end game. They take up time. We must power through these guys as fast as we can. Let's and deal with the Storm Owl, who we will likely take a lot of damage against. This is because our our most effective use of use of his weakness is going to happen at point blank. In fact, ideally, if we can help it, it's going to be when he dives at us. 
Hey, you. Which, of course, will result in us taking a hit. Ow. Dang it. Zero. Attack. The more, uh, the more of the shots that we can make contact, that we can hit him with, the more damage he will take. Ugh. Which, of course, leads to taking a lot of damage into the face. Don't really want to play with the uh, stingray yet. Let's play with the walrus. See if we can get our health up for dealing with the stingray or the slash beast. Out of the way, you. Well, this isn't turning out so well. <laughs> Go that way. Dang it. This is not my day. and hope things just go well. Because <laughs> it's actually pretty difficult to use the Shoretus on, on this guy without taking a hit. Okay, now we've gotten him into the position where we want him. Can we keep him there? I think we got it. There we go. Oh, I better fumble the con the con the, the D pad. It should be all right. <laughs> More interested in doing this safely than doing it quickly. Go! There we go. All righty. Almost made it, made it to uh, full health. Steal <laughs> the split mushroom and cap that off. Hopefully, without taking a hit to this guy. The track record's been pretty bad so far. boss in which we have no weakness weapon.
Fortunately, though, I've gotten a, lot, uh, a fair bit of practice on this guy, just due to playing the game as Zero. <laughs> Hopefully that means we'll be alright. Well, you'd think we would want to use that attack against him, but uh, being as to how we got it from the Slash Beast, it is totally ineffective. Oh. Ow. Stop doing that, you. Oh, that worked out well. <laughs> Good old invincibility frames. Right, big attack is full of them. Alrighty. Now to deal with the jerk manning the controls of this thing. Yeah, who else would it be? <laughs> Brilliant. We defeat Colonel and Iris. You. <laughs> Remind you that I was once the leader of the Maverick Hunters. Well, that is a fun fact, Sigma, but really, what relevance does it have? What's our current situation? Commander! Where's that red maverick that wiped out Garma's unit? In... inside. He's inside that door. You may leave now. I'll take care of this personally. By yourself, Commander? I don't want any more of my people being sacrificed. It still makes it kind of silly to go in there without backup, but... <laughs> Hello, sir. Huh? Now for a very anime fight scene. Sigma winning? Is he our good guy? Well, at this point, technically, he is. <laughs> Clearly, Zero's just getting warmed up. Yeah, 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 get to the point. Sword versus steel pipe. Which will win. Well, the steel pipe has a chance since the uh, energy sword is not a lightsaber like from Star Wars. It's actually a solid... There's actually some solid matter in there. That's the mark of Dr. W. Yeah, 
and down goes zero. Look, it's Commander Sigma! Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the Commander. What? Take that red maverick to the repair center and, and call Dr. Kane. I wish to have that maverick studied. <sighs> Commander, are you okay? Silence! It's nothing to get angry about. He's... <laughs> your squad, he's, he's... He's genuinely worried about your condition. Why the question mark? <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> Most impressive. Yeah, uh, I don't know why Sigma seems to think he can win. Because, clearly, according to the cutscene, the only advantage that Sigma had was that Deus Ex Machina was on his side. Are you ready for your final journey? Yes, sir! Waste you and take that final journey back to back to Earth. So we got to fight you in stupidly easy fashion. Come on, bud. Bring it on! Time for us to settle this! Yes. Come on, buddy. Hey, up here. Ah, you missed me again. It should be noted that uh, you really want that scythe to hit the wall and not the floor. Because his attack path, because his attack pattern is significantly more difficult to deal with than it hits the floor. Bad landing for you, sir. Ha! Going down. Alrighty. Yes, she Tremble is. Tremble with terror! You are finished! I suppose, Sigma, this is an upgrade for you. Normally, you've only had two forms to speak of. Now you've got a third. Well done, sir. That. Best to not worry too much about taking damage in these fights, because, well, that's what you have energy tanks for. Say this side is going to go down very quickly. Yo, fire six lightning bolts at us, and oh, by and large, we we just won't care. You're going down, buddy. Wow, I can't believe I managed to screw that up. <laughs> oh, man. Give me a moment, I'll get back there. Tremble with terror. You are finished. Okay, take two. 
Whoa! Watch it, buddy. Let's see if we can do this without such blinding failure. Oh, let me fire. Woo. Sucker! There we go. It was hilarious failure, I'll stick by that. At least I certainly thought it was. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna die in some way, might as well be a stupid one. I'm being a lot more cooperative in this, in this side though. I don't see what the point of that attack is. I've never been hit by it to really know how powerful it is. Hey, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Uh, I hate that ground, I hate that ground phase, because it's really difficult to rely on these hits. But at least when you're X, you have a buster that you can use. Shoot at it from a distance. Come on, buddy. Excellent. Take that. What's so funny? <laughs> Bloody hell. Jerk. Why can't you ever just die? Oh, you gotta take the you gotta take the world or something else hostage. Get tip, get on it, zero. Oh, hey, General. How'd you get here so quick? Uh, don't worry about it. We'll sort things out later. Wait. Well. Yeah, these guys are quick on the draw for self for self sacrifice. Yeah, here, Zero. Big gun go boom. So, this is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. Iris! <laughs> Please stop, brother! Sarah! Iris, did we Reploids all turn out to be Mavericks after all?
That's a very harsh accusation there, Zero. I wouldn't say that all the uh, all Reploids were, were Mavericks. Of course, then again, unlike all the unlike all the other Reploids, X and Zero were not put together in modern times. No, X of course was made by Dr. White. This is evident by the capsules. Zero, X's best friend, ironically, was made by Dr. Wily. Dr. W. <laughs> oh. So Dr. White's most notorious enemy made X's best friend. Yeah. What could go wrong? Well, Sadly, a lot of things. Oh well. That doesn't change games. This game from being my favorite Mega Man X game. I do not have a lot of love for Mega Man X5, however. Oh. There's, uh... I can think of at least one major good reason for it. Is that, uh... X5 uses the same animation style, uh, such from as X4. So, in effect, it masquerades as X4. It is a lot harder. X4 is a very good entry level oh, for a for a uh, for a player just because of how forgiving it is. Oh, if you if you die, all your weapons get reloaded. In Mega Man games, that is huge. In fact, every stage has two parts, and the transition between the parts also reloads your weapon. So, X4 is actually an extremely e easy game when you take when you take the entire series into question. Oh well. Sometimes ease ease makes for fun. Of course, for the uh, or diehard are fans of the series. Ease can make for boring. I don't fall into that description myself. Aha! You're welcome, game. I enjoyed playing you. Hearty thanks to Capcom for bringing us this game. Time for the epilogue. The battle has ended, but for some reason Zero's memories of the past continue to haunt his mind. As a hunter, it's his duty to go after the Mavericks. At the same time, he knows it's destiny to defeat his friend one day. Wait, what? Two different people, two different fates. In the future, his decision will lead the two great hunters to tragedy. The future is coming. Indeed it is. We'll see you next game. Later.